How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to the brand new Disc Creatures, a game I had only just heard of and now all of a sudden it's here. So that was nice and sudden. It looked interesting. I always grew up loving Pokemon. This is a complete and total love letter to Pokemon. It tries to do its own thing. There's like branching uh, skill trees for the individual monsters and things like that. But don't get me wrong, the art style and gameplay and everything just is Pokemon. <laughs> but it was very impressively made by a one person dev team. And that's just crazy to me. That, that's very impressive. This is a massive type of game genre to do by yourself, so living things can be both charming and dangerous. Not just in your world, but in ours as well. What's your name? Oh, well, let's think on that. Red was always like the, the thing when you booted up Pokemon, so for combing in Graham into that will be Gred. <laughs> Does that look right? Yeah, we're gonna go right ahead with it. Oh, maybe I was supposed to make it all capitals. I never know the naming conventions. Probably supposed to be all capitals. Dang, no rival to name. I know the game probably wants to distinguish its, its, itself in tiny little ways, but there's something about that that is funny. I just love naming them something stupid, like Booger Mouth. I don't know. Whatever, I would have thought harder on it. Ga ga! Okay, they don't say their names. That's another thing. TVs these days are paper thin. Not that you can tell from this angle. <laughs> we shouldn't be able to see it at all if that were the case. Hard to represent in this 2D environment. You picked up your disker application and submission fee. Right, people who collect disc cre creatures, I gotta be, try not to say like monsters, pocket monsters, are disc rangers in this world, so you are a disker. Time to take this down to Town Hall. This is such a nice chair. Can't sit on it from here though. <laughs> Gred booted up the PC, but can't seem to remember why. Gred shut down the PC. Guess I got nothing actually going on there. A shiny dresser like this must be full of riches. But we're not gonna grab any. Tucked away inside the drawer is nothing at all. Who even knows what's on this mess of a bookshelf anymore? Oh god, I know the feeling. Try not to look at that or pay attention to it. Uh, it's probably time for some spring cleaning. Ooh, it's the Creature Hunter, tracking down some mysterious creature today. right -o. So here we are at the frostbitten summit of Mount Azel, in pursuit of the elusive creature known as Fangon. Let's jump right into it then and see if we can't find this fella. And then we toot out, that's enough of that. Same old, same old. Just makes us sad to watch old reruns of that show. She's too focused on what's on the TV. Sweet, thanks mom, glad to have an attentive mother. The shelves are lined with books that look like anything but easy reading. Surprise, the dresser drawer is full of clothes. That's very strange. Although there is only the one bedroom. Maybe mom just lives down here, or dad, or whoever that is. It's also full of clothes. Less surprising the second time around. Oh, it is a little, it is a little bedroom. Jumping on the bed. There is something funny there that I've never thought of, that I don't think there are other bedrooms in, like, Ash's house. I, I can't fully recall. But yeah, the, it, mom just gets the dumpy little, like, you hung some curtains in the corner. Way off on the side. Head east and take your application to town hall. Well, we're probably going to want to, like, bounce around town a little bit. Lyceum town. And we got this little whatever running laps. This town is just right for creatures like me. Wait, did that thing actually talk to us? Can creatures speak? Hello, stranger whose house I wandered into. You might come across some ferocious creatures while wandering in the woods or exploring caves. Don't get the wrong impression. Not all creatures are like that. They come in all sorts, just like us. Don't want any of that institutional creatureism going on. It's uh, probably all full of clothes. Easy reading, not easy reading. Creature house. <laughs> Jump on your bed, just uh, leave my own little footprint there. Some creatures love a good fight, but me? I'm not really a fan. I'm looking for more of a human sort of lifestyle. So what was with that bird that was cacawing upstairs? To show all about the state of the economy. Wow, God, what a boring life they lead. Never to return, hopefully. Welcome to Lyceum Town, a place where humans and creatures live in harmony. 
Those heading for Town Hall should continue on eastward. Thanks for the constant reminder. One of these days, I want to become a disker and go out to see the world with my own team of creatures. Cool, is part of that involved me breaking into your house? I just moved out this way a short while back. Humans like you probably never give it much thought, but life in the wild can be rough. Things are much easier here. Ah, so there is like this coexistence, kind of like the Detective Pikachu world or like Flintstone style creature interaction where they have jobs and stuff. Is that a spear? Better not touch it. It's very peculiar. These boxes are still sealed up tight. Looks like it'll be a while before they're fully settled in from the move. I don't think I want to mess around with this guy's house too much. He's just walking around with a, a fully loaded spear, semi-automatic. <laughs> creatures are so cool. Sometimes me and my sis sneak into the woods to go see all the creatures out there. But hey, please don't tell my mom, okay? Nah, not a deal. I'm going to go rat you out immediately. Ooh, I'm quite fond of creatures myself. I'm just worried about having one around my baby girl. Ooh, it's just a creature plushie. Oh, it's probably more like, oh, ooh. <laughs> I want to get a pet creature like our neighbor someday. I've spotted my kids sneaking off into the juggling woods to play. Rumor says the scarecrows out that way start attacking people at night. So I've warned them to stay away, but... But sooner or later, one of your kids will die and they'll smarten up. Maybe one already has. Maybe that's why it worries them so much. The old sibling they no longer talk about. Disc Cafe disc cafe from Lyceum an exclusive disker only joint the epitome of cool drop on by here after you submit all of your disker paperwork at town hall probably that's like where you buy disc balls and potions and things the police force they keep us safe yep no unsavory sorts of creatures here nope not Lyceum down nope nope well, um, sounds like a deflection. I imagine that guy's maybe a villain. That's my rival now. That guy in the bush over there. Town Hall's right on ahead that way. What another fine day in Lyceum Town. The town where nothing goes wrong. Foreshadowing, foreshadowing, foreshadowing. I'm guessing that's uh, the Town Hall. The game seems to be really adamant about me getting on over there. Yo, are you a disker? If so, you should head west and check out the disc cafe. They got all sorts of stuff just for diskers. All right, all right. That's enough talking to every wandering soul of this town. We'll head on to the town hall. That building right there is town hall. Thanks. A sign could have done your job. Maybe, maybe they want to consider that at the next budgetary meeting. Here for disker registration? I'll take your application if you got everything in order. Gred handed over the application. I really wish I made it all capitals. Okay then, Gred, is it? Looks like you're all set. I'm Specs. Oh, okay, other characters have lower cases. And I'm in charge of disker registration here at Town Hall. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Now then, Gred, I hereby proclaim you a licensed disker. That was very simple. <laughs> As you probably know, Disker is short for Disc Ranger. As a Disker, you may now befriend and command the many different creatures that fill our world. So, you just have to fill out like one page of paperwork, sign your name on a dotted line, and you can enslave the creatures of the world. What a simple ecosystem structure of economy they have here. Of course, just because you're a Disker now, it doesn't mean you suddenly stand a chance against a wild creature. So what we do here is hand out these. A loner creature? <laughs> Perhaps? It looks like a little Game Boy. This device is called a Disk Kid. Use this to read and install creature data. All Diskers command their creatures using one of these devices. Here you are, Gred. This is your very own Disk Kid. Now proudly step forward and begin your new life as an officially licensed Disker. Can't believe I didn't have to pay a fee. <laughs> Got Disk Kid. Maybe they tax you over the years. It's a little clunkier than you'd think. How do people fit these in their pockets? You can now open open the menu at any time. Well, I would like to give that a, a quick try. Okie dokie, Gred. That this kid right there has a fresh new drive in it. Until you load it up with some creature data, you won't be able to command any. But here at Town Hall, we offer all new Diskers free starter discs. Boot these up on a PC to install the creature to your disc kid and use it whenever you'd like. Five available here, and you can choose whichever three you want. Okay. Creature you pick will be your first companions on your journey as a Disker. Each one is a rare type, so make sure you think it over carefully. 
Interesting. First, we got Flame Orb or Flam Orb. Next up, he's a flame type creature. I guess I get to know a bit about him. Do you want this creature? TBD. We also have Blade Gwyn. Well, that's a big standout for sure. The Electring. The Centipian. He looks like a little bit of a mess, and I don't like saying his name. And the Crenaton. Hmm, well. Flame Orb is neat. Blade Blade Gwyn is an easy choice. I'm taking him. He's water type. I would like him, yes. Next up, we have... Uh, tell me a little bit about him. He's electric type. Probably could have guessed it. Maybe. He's on my maybe list. Centipion is an earth type. Oh, he looks a little cooler from the front. He's like a centipede scorpion. I get it a little bit better what they're going for there. Maybe. Because scorpions are dope. And he's a grass type. He doesn't really have anything you can tell me about him. He looks lame. He looks lame as hell, and for that reason alone, I'm gonna take him. Because I bet he's gonna be like an unexpected ramp up into cool territory. That's just a random guess. Flame Orb seems neat, I guess. It also seems like the type of creature that everyone would reach for. And so I'm gonna switch it up and grab one of these guys. Centipion, you still look too stupid and I don't like saying your name. Electring is where, I, <laughs> where I'm landing. Wonderful reasons for those de de decisions to be made. Here are your three discs then. Hook it up to the PC and you'll get access to the disc net, upload data from the disc to the disc discur net, and you'll be able to install a corresponding creature. You can manage discs to the PC in the disc cafe, but you only have a, P you have a PC in your home. Uh, once you manage to install them, come back and report report here to me. Thank you for the lengthy explanation. What's up, everyone? You can't just go burning copies of other Disker's creatures, you know? If you want a new creature disc, you gotta burn a copy while battling a wild one. That's an interesting thing. So when we battle, are we battling digital versions of them? Kind of like, I don't know, Yu-Gi-Oh! Dungeon Dice Monster or something? Just so it's you're not actually, like, killing your creatures or wounding them? That's a nice simple workaround to be like, yeah, I'm not abusive to my disc creatures. You can teach a creature up to four moves. Be sure to check out what moves you have to choose from whenever you level up. And my friend told me you can get something here if you collect lots of creatures. Well, I'll make my, my best attempt. I currently have a nobody. They're level one. They have one HP. I, I feel really confident in myself being told I'm a big nobody. Better head home and try booting up the discs. Well, I'm gonna see a bit more of the town. What a strange looking clock tower. When grass, earth, and water unite, damn, I should have grabbed those creature types. The flowers shall bloom with pride. Oh, it looked like a mew from the side, now it looks more like a butterfree. <laughs> this clock tower was built to look like a giant flower. It looks almost good enough to eat, doesn't it? <laughs> Hello, little tomato. Looks like a toxic mess some creature left this place in. What crazy sort of creature could have been capable of all this? Oh yeah, there is a bunch of goop, isn't there? We brush in the morning, we brush in the evening, and still we're up to our teeth in this gunk. I'm sick of it. Uh, thanks for the input, Toothy Mon. Oh, it literally is a tooth with a toothbrush. Ah, shoot! Look at this mess by the tunnel. How am I gonna get to Peace to Port now? That's a fun name to say. I would love to go to Peace to Port. I'd love to become a citizen. I'd love to become a person of Peace to Port. So I can just say that. Pro Discord Shop opening soon. Ah, not gonna have the pro experience just yet. Want to be a part of that exclusive exclusivity, you know? I saw it with my own two eyes. I swear it, I did. Some eerie sort of light just shooting up out of pecan forest in the sky. Is that responsible for the goop? Are you responsible for the goop? Oh dear, you know there are all kinds of nasty creatures out there. I really wish you wouldn't go flirting with danger. Is that directed at me? Are you that concerned for a random stranger? I can't tell if that was meant for your, like, husband or owner or whatever. It's like the dentist. Or the clean-uppers. Your mess is our business. What do these teeth people have to say about whatever's going on out there? Where are your friendly neighborhood cleaners, the clean-uppers? We've had some pesky creatures spreading poisonous goo around town lately. The faster we clean it up, the faster it gets dirty again. I really wish we could figure out why. Anyone else? Any random thoughts? Input? Do some detective work? If we could just find the culprit, we'd be through with this. But no one has the slightest clue. Not even the slightest? Not even a tiny something? I just, I just needed a small one. We're in quite the pickle here. 
That noxious goo is creeping closer and closer to Town Hall. It's noxious too. Maybe it's more of a threat than people are making it out to be. It sounds like it might actually cause some major issues. Maybe we want to be a little more mindful of it, a little more careful, a little bit more aware. Uh, how's it going? What's up over there? The colorful house. This is the one that is my own. Now I can load up myself some lovely creatures and continue to ignore my little uh, bird friend. Hooked up the disc kid. Go to the disc net. Logging in. Identifying user. Logging in as Gred. Greetings, Gred. Here on the disc net, you can manage data for all your creatures. On the disc net, you can boot up creature discs to increase the number of creatures you own. You can also switch out the creatures you want to keep on your team as well as change up their moves. I think. Rather than having like a, a lineup of six Pokeballs that you throw out, I think battles are three versus three, and what you have on you is who battles. I think. I saw only like a small trailer for this. Who you want to keep, change up their moves. No creature data found. Please start by inserting the discs. Yes. Can't you just do that for me? Seems like it would be much easier. Please boot this up. There are actually 200 creatures in this game. I don't know if that counts evolutions. I don't know if creatures evolve. I think they do. To be determined. Install from the discs you have. I have three. S select and install. Simple. Blade Gwyn. Yes. Nice. He's dope. By far my number one fave. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bother with the naming of things. That is only fun for me when I actually know, like, the proper name of them. I'm so likely to forget what these creatures are called that I would rather refer to them by, like, their creature name. It's empty. This is automatically placed. And go ahead and finish finish installing the rest. Electring, yes. <laughs> Looking good there, pal. And finally, Centrin. Cren Creniton. Oh, I'm not going to remember his name at all. Maybe I should have went with Centorpian. Centipian. Terrible. Can't remember anything's name. We'll get used to it. Select and choose manage. This is interesting. You can unlock like a move tree and you can swap them out repeatedly rather than committedly overwriting things like Pokemon. I like that. I think that's a, a cool adaptation and allows for a little bit more playing around with like strategy, I guess. 12 different move types, which is like fire, water, electric, all that stuff. Basic flame, water, electric, earth, grass, stone, wind, ice, magic, spirit, and steel. So there's attack, blast, uh, defend, and then uh, those are the three I have equipped right now. I have room for one more. Intimidate, debuffs, guard, and deplete some energy. Rest, heals a little bit, can't use consecutively, and causes knockdown. I think the ability to heal sounds pretty worthwhile so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and include that one they all start with like attack blast defend but then some of the the additional ones after that are, are more unique so bolas cause paralysis sound wave sometimes inflicts confusion and boosts barrier and recovers some energy I like I'll, I'll include paralysis I'll also remove Blast, and we'll instead put Soundwave in? Try try out some, some new things, I guess. I'm still unsure about some of this organization, like, there's three slots, maybe I can own three copies of this and, like, level them up in different ways? It's unclear why, what, like, these three slots are all for. So this guy, obviously same starting things, and then power down, debuff power and deplete some energy. Rest, same as uh, what Blade Gwyn had. Artillery seeds, hits one to three enemies randomly. And spell, boosts luck and recovers some energy. Maybe everyone had four skills and I missed that before. Whatever, I'll leave it. Artillery seeds is what I'm gonna boot up for, for this guy. I just wanna double check and make sure that's stuck. Yes, I don't have to like confirm. I just back out of that menu. Perfect! These are the creatures on your team. You can favorite your most beloved creatures at the VIP page. Makes it easier to switch your favorite creatures in and out. And press close. And uh, I'll, I'll boot out of all of this. Nice! I got a team. Gotta you know, take it out and try and actually do something with it. Ka! Ka ka! It seems like it has something for you. It? Is it a, is it a disc creature or is it just an animal? I got the transceiver! <laughs> 
Fever. It was added to your key items. Does anyone want to explain that one to me? Kaka. Anything? Any any idea what that uh, might be for? Try it out wherever you're lost or stuck. Kaka. Gret powered off the transceiver. I it was funny you actually saw him pick up the the transceiver on his own end there to like respond. Let's see if it works. Okay, now now I actually have to do it. Hello? Can you hear me now? Hey, Gred. Rig me on the transceiver and I'll remind you of what you should be focusing on. If you ever feel lost, just give me a buzz. You managed to install your very first creature. Next, you should head back to Town Hall and talk to Specs again. Eastern side of the town. Good stuff. All information I had. I should check out the Disc Cafe now that I'm officially uh, a member. Hey, welcome! Here at the Disc Cafe, we do everything we can do to support discers like you. You can hand over your disc kit if you would like to refresh your creatures and bring them back to full HP. Feel free to use the PC to your right there to manage creature data and do whatever else you'd like. Everything here is done at no cost to you, so don't worry about a thing. Would you like to heal your creatures? No, not at the moment. One disc cafe set is 20 pico, which I have none of. It is a super useful item. It heals all your creatures just like refreshing them at the disc cafe would. That's awesome. Refreshing everyone all at once is very useful. But just so you know, you can't use it while you're in battle. That's fair. And you can only carry one with you at a time. Ugh, that's a bit of a pain, but I guess, I guess it would be OP otherwise. Hey there, we sell all sorts of neat things only discers should have. Boost chance of burning a creature's disc data to disc may uh, use up to five at once. But that's not actually what I use to burn creatures. Recover HP, cure toxic errors, cure paralysis errors. It's funny, it's not a status effect, it's an error in the programming. Reboots a knocked out creature to half HP. I like tying it all into this like uh, technology theme that they got going on here. They're doing a good job with that. Hey, do you know about creature skills? Uh, it has its own special skill. Take the Mimix out in Pekin Forest, for instance. They have this skill called Camouflage. It makes it easier for them to evade incoming attacks for the very first round of the battle. There are all sorts of other skills that makes creatures strong against certain types or even immune to certain errors. Skill effects normally last for the whole battle, but some errors can overwrite their effects. You can check your creature's skills from the Equip tab. And I've traveled the world collecting countless creatures, so here's some advice for you, my child. Never forget that some creatures are harder to burn to discs than others. When you're talking to someone and at the bottom it has a little spinning disc there because of like the gleam that they have in the disc with the black stripe and then the center hole of the disc, it makes it look like a spinning Pokeball. That's a little on the nose and I probably, I don't really know the exact workaround of that, but yeah. Your skill sometimes does damage when targeted by a power attack. Can, you can counter people. And using E-Charge buffs electric strength for the following round. Oh, I can navigate more easily like this. Sometimes reduces damage taken. You can see easily the resistances and, and the strengths and things right there. So that's all nice to know. I better make my way back to the town hall. It would, nice to squeeze, it would be nice to squeeze in some actual battles into this episode, you know? More so than just the getting things started. Looks like we are able to install those creature discs just fine. You're now free to make a name for yourself as a disker with these creatures by your side. Or you could head out and collect all sorts of other creatures instead. Whatever you decide to do, make sure you and all your creatures all enjoy themselves. But one more thing, Gred. This is something I make sure to tell every new disker. Creatures are incredible beings. The reason we humans can live the lives we all have today is thanks to them. We could never have come this far without their help. But while they're capable of many great and wonderful things, they also possess dangerous powers. And now that you're armed with that disc kid, you will be in control of those powers. I hope that you and all other discers out in the world will act responsibly and use your disc kids only for the greater good. Right then, sorry to lecture you like that. Is there anything in particular you'd like to get started on now that you're an official disker? If you don't have anything in mind at the moment, I would suggest you go and take a look at the bulletin board set outside town hall, uh, posts and requests, Appreciate the helping hand. I was probably gonna head that way anyways. It looked intriguing. Better go take a look. Yeah, get our get ourselves a mission. Probably clearing up the goo would be the main thing. 
wanted ad, looking for a disker to help investigate. There have been all sorts of wild rumors flying around, a pecan forest to the north of town here. See, there's this abandoned little hut deep in the woods, and lately the kids in town have been treating it like it's some sort of haunted house. They say anyone who dares draw near it returns with no memory of what happened. Then how did this story begin in the first place? I ask you that. Is this really the work of some supernatural being? Or is there something else going on out there? Are any discers brave enough to find out? I'm pretty brave. Ooh, episode one, survival of the fittest. There's actually like a, a structure to the story and like sections and things. Uh, I've heard the game is close to like 20 hours long at least. I tend to be slow running around games and things, so maybe it takes a bit longer. You a disker, you should head west, check out the, the cafe or whatever. I did all that, that's all fine. The pro disc shop, right, this one just straight up wasn't open. Uh, I guess I'll find out how to get to the forest. Right now it seems like not an option. Maybe I gotta go back to the, uh, the previous part of town. Oh, a little bit of an alert coming into the other area here. You can heal your creatures, buy items, and all sorts of other stuff. How's that for service? We already got that covered. Figured it out like the geniuses that we are. What's this big building supposed to be? I mean, I'm not a disker, so I don't really care or anything, but what is it? <laughs> you don't, you can't care about it because you're not a disker? It seems like you care about things for other reasons. Get ready for the next big thing to hit the disker world. No trespassing. All right, I guess, I guess it's a more exclusive thing than I thought. There are all sorts of items you can use in battle to give your creatures some backup, right? But after a creature uses an item, it needs to rebuffer its item queue, so it can't use two item rounds in a row. Off to Pecan Forest, are we? Let's see, you've got some creatures loaded up on this kid? Yes, looks like you're good to go. Wait, you still haven't tried your creatures out in battle yet. All right, let me show you the ropes. Oh, what a handy police officer. Battle! Oh, I wish I had a battle that I could battle with. Select fight, then moves, pick whatever the hell you want. I will attack the battle. <laughs> and I will attack, and probably I'll just attack him. Use defend. Hmm, I can straight up see his energy level. <laughs> I like it, like, checks them off as, as they do their thing. Let's go over the creature's gauges. Both of your creatures have green and yellow. Green is HP. As they take damage, this will decrease, and when it runs out, your creature will crash and be unable to battle. Once you've taken down your opponent's green gauges, you win. Now that yellow gauge shows, uh, shows the energy level, so rather than having PP for moves, you gotta worry about it more like having mana in like an RPG. They need energy. Once it's gone, they'll be stuck and unable to fight. Yeah, that's why they have E charge on the menu. Use E charge to replenish their energy. Something to keep in mind when charging, though. If you take a hit in a round where you use an E charge, it'll automatically be critical. So, if you just go around charging all willy nilly, you'll be in for a world of pain. But, that also means that if you land a hit while your opponent's charging, you'll be much closer to victory. Okay then, I'm gonna have my creature E charge, so you have, uh, you have your creature's attack. Thanks for the info. I'm gonna go right for it. I'm even gonna go with a blast with one creature. E charging jacked it right back up, but a massive blow. Oh wow, okay. Those were much stronger than I expected. That was devastating. Uh, critical hits are no joke. They all gain experience together because they're all in the battle together. You've got what it takes to battle. Energy levels always return to normal once the battle's over. Awesome, so even though you don't recover health, you at least get energy. It doesn't, you gotta go to the disc cafe. Here's a little present from yours truly. A battle disc. Something I can... Oh no, that's for the bat. I was gonna say it's a disc, I can use a battle to burn creatures. No, it straight up is that bat guy. Cool, boot up the disc and you'll have yourself a brand new creature to use. Install on your PC, you can add it to your team, switch them out, let me know. You're free to head into Pecan Forest. I kind of want to look at... I, I'm, I'm fine with the order they're in and everything. I mostly want to take a look at my, whatever it's called, Disc Kid. Because I'm curious about whether or not uh, it has... It shows me like a full index of characters' discs that I currently have and everything. You aren't forgetting to save, right? Nah, it's no hassle at all. I'll, I'll be sure to whip out a save now and again. 
Thanks for the reminder. It's probably a good habit to get in. All right, forest, wild battles. Let's see what's up. Pecan Forest is full of wild creatures. If you bump into one, you best be ready to battle. On top of that, you gotta be wary of other Diskers in the area who might be itching to spar. If you find yourself in a pinch, make sure to head to one of the blue refresh terminals. Oh, it's, I don't always have to go back to a cafe. That's awesome. If you find, uh, yes. Or you can run away, use this, a surrender. It's an item you can use in battle. You'll automatically lose any battle you're in when you use it. If a battle ever drags on too long and you've just had enough, try it out. Oh, I thought he was coming in and be like, be wary of battlers. Like me, I will battle. Heal. Is there any limit to how often I can use that? Because it seems very convenient. And I'm very glad that that exists. Cool. Let's, let's, uh, let's get ourselves a little battle. Sometimes you might score enough data to burn a wild creature to a disc just by beating them in battle. But if you use high speed memory, you'll have a much better chance of getting the discs you want. It's easy to use, too. I wonder if you have to defeat X number of a creature to, like, learn enough about it to burn the data. Uh, high speed memory, uh, f cool. That's, uh, th thanks. I thought someone would want to battle. Normally you'd be able to just head up here and walk all the way to the little village called Juglin, but that was when there was still a bridge to cross over here. Apparently it broke when some enormous large creature tried walking across. I see him just kind of sunk across over there. Something seems hard in water, hard at work in the water here. Looks like there's a creature working to fix the bridge. Aw, uh, thanks little creature. That guy had a little disc above his head, I guess that lets you know. Oh, creature encounters, they also wander around the map rather than being totally random. Let me fill you in on something, newbie. People out and about in the woods here like me, we're Diskers looking for any excuse to battle. So you and me, we're gonna do just that. Thanks for the kind introduction. The, those things that I saw earlier were legit tomatoes. I thought I was mocking them. And for whatever reason, this guy just wanted a whole bushel of tomatoes to make his, his uh, team out of? Seems peculiar to me. What a mistake to start your turn by e-charging, because you're going to get absolutely blasted. Use a spell! Recovered some e, luck went up, attacking the blade, Gwen. Let's play around with some different things. I'm going to try and blast the first tomato, <laughs> and I'll do a regular one here, and you can do your artillery seeds. Do nice rando. Oh, he was e-charging, so I should hopefully be able to do some major damage. The only guy I have with one artillery seed, he still got wrecked. Aw, oh, man, my team's dope. They're all level 3, so they got a little bit of a leg up on those guys, and also they aren't just a bunch of tomatoes. Makes it a little easier. You sure know your discs. Here, you can have this. High speed memory, okay. This whole forest is full of other discers hoping to prove themselves, so go on out there and show them all what you've got. You won't regret it. I regret it maybe slightly. Hey, these aren't the scent of whatevers, are they? No, Mayamic. Don't know what to expect from them. They're weirdly glitchy looking. And another tomato. <laughs> I don't have. Oh, item. Boost chance of burning a creature's data to disc. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> the I surrender written with a little I and capital S. I. That's really funny. I. I like that a lot. Simple, good joke. I'm just gonna do a bunch of regular old blasts and hope I hope I can manage to knock things out. Oh, it still remembers from last battle that I I wanted to use artillery seeds. That's really handy actually that it remembers that from previous previously. Uh, I like I like that that the character or the game memorizes a little bit what my like favorite spells or skills are. I imagine I can just commit harder during these simple battles to strong attacks like artillery seeds because I always recharge my energy. I, I did acquire both discs. I was wondering if there was a chance I would only get one or something, but I got I got a whole second team now. I got the Mayamic, the Tomate, and, and the Battle. They all gained experience. I would like to level them up. I imagine no one's going to evolve or grow or anything in this early level. The Deva Hat. This little devil, devilish little hat here that's just kicking around. I see no real difference between one says P and one is M, and I don't really know what the difference is there. There's no need using uh, to use bolus is. 
because I don't really think I need to worry about paralyzing these simple level one creatures. Instead, I can just focus on blasting them with my pretty regular spells. I, I think there's a good speed, considering you have to watch up to six monsters, creatures, damn it, do their thing each little battle. I got the, I got a new disc there again. Uh, they seem to go at a good clip. The, the little thing at the top of the screen that tells you like what the what did and didn't land, what moves everyone used and everything like that seems to fly through relatively quickly. And so you don't have to waste a ton of time reading all that. I, I think it helps keep things speedy. Again, starts to feel more like the JRPG turn-based style thing. It, it leans a little bit more away from the Pokemon battle formula. It's still very similar, but a little bit. Hold it right there. I got something here you might just like, but you gotta beat me in battle first. Maybe we're just maybe we're just gonna cruise on up to that haunted house. I, I don't know how deep in this I want to go. So much of the early game here for us was navigating the the town and the like tutorial and stuff. So maybe I try and progress the story a little bit more. Something to to bring up now would be that I don't really know how much this game I plan to play. I want to give it an honest shot, show what the game has to offer. Uh, experience it a little bit and, and see how people feel about it in general. Then we can uh, together decide whether or not we would like to delve further into this particular game. Getting a little bit wailed on over there. I'm wondering if I backtrack to that little healing station if there will be creatures along the way again if they respawn. Maybe they only respawn once you... Do you know what? I think I'm going to try and specifically take out the hat since he's the closest to being done with. Uh, I wonder if they respawn after you heal or something like that. Oh, you're the only one who doesn't have an actual specific uh, rest option. Dang it, because that would be very useful for me. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have committed to attacking this thing after all. Didn't quite work out the way I wanted attacked the wrong creature. Didn't manage to land directly attacking at the creature who was actually E-charging. Do you know what? I probably should have focused my attacks on the tomato since he was most lady, most likely to use an E-charge this round. He'll like have to use one this round. There's a little bit of strategy there. He recovered E. How lucky. I did. I recovered E. That is very lucky. That worked out incredibly well for me in fact. I'm, uh, I'm all on board for that. Since I very specifically... Oh, I didn't mean to E-charge. I was navigating the menus too quickly. I meant to use Artillery Seed. But that that's... Uh, I wonder how often that comes up. Oh, now we'll see if he still gains experience even if he's fainted in battle. This is dragging out uh, a lot more. Maybe I should commit to using Paralysis or something. Nah, we'll manage to get one over on him. Still not, though. More health than I thought. Now he's gonna get wrecked. Devastating blow. Little bit dicey there. Ah! Fainted guys don't get it. Leveled up. He now has extra HP, extra power, extra guard, extra mind, extra barrier, extra speed, extra luck. But luck seemed to affect the entire group. All of them gained... gained energy at the same time. It wasn't just one specific person got lucky. Also learned a new move. I, I guess I'll have to go to the computer to like manage that sort of stuff. I don't need to look at specifically how each of their stats level up. That was just a good excuse to read through the different stats options. Can I see your disc kid for a sec? He's gonna steal it. I'll mod it for you. Let's see. Hook this in over here. Wire this up like that. And boom. There you have it. Your disc kid has been modded with a move changer. Oh, nice. I can do that on the fly now. Now, I know you can just switch up your moves from a PC, but who wants to walk all the way back to a disc cafe every time your creature learns a new move, right? I'm very thankful that this is in the game, because yes, that did sound inconvenient. Change it up whenever you want to, open the menu, and, and just do that. Yep, yeah, that makes perfect sense. I got a denumin. Denumin? So that's like, I, it gets rid of paralysis, is what I guess. Yeah, okay. For a second, I thought that was maybe the name of a, a specific creature. Nah, nothing like that. So those creatures have not returned walking back this way. We'll see what happens once 
I've healed up? No, the creatures stay defeated. Uh, it'll remains to be seen once I if I leave the actual area, how that how that potentially affects things. Grab another little disc. Got three pico. Oh, he came and darted over to me. They do kind of run at you a little bit. I thought maybe I could just completely slip by this guy. Do you know what? I will try and paralysis him. <laughs> I figure I might as well mix it up a little bit. Try some new things. He is confused. He's paralyzed. Man, I really mangled him there. Oh, no, no, no. I'm confused. He got one over on me. Damn you. You... Damn little bastard. <laughs> Don't know what else to say about the subject except for this bat sucks. Glad. Glad we defeated that. That's my second battle disc. So there is something about collecting multiple discs of a, of a specific creature. All sorts of types, you see. Little tomates are grass types. They're strong against water and earth. But they struggle against flame. Once you understand the types you did, you'll have an easier time in battle. I probably can be more mindful of that, but like something like this Deva hat, I don't know what he is. Is that little hat icon supposed to be telling me what it is? I think that might be what that's trying to do for me, because other the tomatoes have had like a little leaf icon next to them in previous battles. So that's my that's my best guess, I guess. I, I guess I guess that did not earn a disc. So yeah, it's not a guarantee. What? You expected me to just attack you or something? No, oh, thanks, my friend. I'm not looking to get hurt. Yeah, I thought it was weird that he didn't look like a little wandering ghastly. Energin. Uh, I'm gonna see. Yeah, you can sneak past them, but I do actually want to battle it. It just is an option. So he's got the little leaf for grass type. I just the the little top hat is probably magic type. I think that was one of the options, and that just seems like it would make the most sense. Come on, there he is, he leveled up. Perfect. I was thinking, I was yet again just gonna barely not make it. Learning a new move, the whole team's starting to better align with one another. No one's pulling ahead too crazy. Ooh, an Ognion. That's a, that's a new one. I don't know, obviously it's some sort of onion type, but I don't know what else that could mean. Water is maybe good against Earth? If I want to actually start playing with some of this, I'm guessing electric is weak against earth and grass. I have no idea. Artillery seeds, <laughs> just do whatever. Dang. Did a lot of damage. It's weak to grass. So earth is weak to grass. We know we know that combo now for sure. I know it right now in this exact instance. There's a good to fair char chance. I uh, I forget that the longer this goes on. I'll try to be mindful of it though. Maybe I'll draw myself a nice little reminder map. Hey, there's a grace period where the, the other creatures like flash and you can't run into another one immediately. That's nice because that means as soon as you exit a battle, it gives you gives you like that tiny narrow moment where you can be like, Oh, do you know what? I, I need to change my move sets, or I need to apply like a heal or something like that. So I'm really appreciative that the game gives you that grace period to to help out in situations like that, so you don't just get totally wrecked. Uh, before you go take a break, let's battle. I think they said something about a disc cafe. I didn't mean to skip it. We have quaver poles and deva hats. Okay, so water on water is not going to be anything. Might as well go deva hat. But you should very easily mess these guys up. Artillery seed maybe might be good against water. Presuming that builds off of uh, Pokemon logic a little bit. Devastating. Too devastating. They are, water is weak to grass. Oh, so close. This mystic barrier vanished. You do have to reset your target. The game doesn't remember who you were targeting previously, it doesn't seem like. So you gotta actively be aware of that when you're spamming your way through your decision making of what you're gonna do in a battle. New level up. I doubt you learn a move every single level, but you did. These first couple moves at the very... Levels at the very least, there's lots of new moves to be learned. Looks like I still got plenty of training to do. 
and I got a high speed memory. There's a disc cafe right across the bridge. Make sure to let your creatures rest up a little bit. I should check out these guys' moves and maybe see what kind of new stuff they've unlocked. Dash attack costs extra. You make sure you attack first. And splash. Oh, do you know what? These are like neutral. They don't have... It's not water attack specifically. But I think you as a water type still do better. I guess I don't entirely know. Cancels out defensive positions. Damage is E. Is that a rank? That's like a good thing. I will replace my blast with this. These are ones that look like they come with little discs. So these are all tied to levels and this is something you have to like teach him. I'm guessing. That makes sense. Antibiotic. Prevent or cure. Toxic. Cure and paralysis. To only yourself or to your teammates I wonder. Damage only, it's an Electro Ball and Howling. Deal is set 30 damage and cancel defense. So it always does the same damage, which is kind of interesting, I would say. I haven't really been making use of these. This one costs a lot. Paralysis is expensive, but its accuracy is 100. I'm going to drop the confusion and go with the ability to cure things. And I'll drop regular attack for Electro Ball. As for you, you I already knew you had spell, I think. Uh, protects, protects yourself, boosts luck, and recovers some energy. Now I'll leave all that as is. That's enough messing around with that stuff for now. What about you, little chump? <laughs> Creatures with high guard are strong against power attacks. Those with high barrier are strong against mind attacks. Okay, another little factor to keep in mind then. I'll give myself a quick heal up, and then maybe, probably, time to leave things where they're at. Maybe I'll poke around the town just like a little bit and see what people are up to. Thanks for the healing. You'll probably bump into this plant creature called Onion out there. When attacked, it shoots out a paralyzing vapor to protect itself. If your creatures get paralyzed, they'll grow sluggish, and sometimes they won't even be able to move at all. But using mind attacks will keep the plants from shooting out vapor. Oh god, that's a very particular set of interactions. If you work real hard and level your creatures up enough, they'll start off battles with higher energy than normal. Ah, so that's a nice progression. That, like, nice, noticeable way that they'll improve the higher the level they get. Chew on this! It's supposed to be a rejuvenating sort of super fruit that grows up ahead. The lately something or someone has been leaving all this scrap metal laying around and blocking the path. Goop, metal, all sorts of trash. I'll get it all cleaned up, don't you worry, but it's going to take a while for me to really sink my teeth into it. You really love those teeth type puns, references? No need to waste your high speed memory around here. These creatures are all easy to burn a disc. You'll probably end up with more discs than you know what to do with. So try selling them off at the disc cafe. It won't make you rich, but most of us discers sell all the extra discs and earn a few pico here and there to get by. I will go back and do that then, yes, because I wasn't sure what to do th with the stuff I had uh, duplicates of. Right, you're the healer, so you are the seller, or you only very specifically sell that one thing. In that case, sell discs. I will sell two tomatoes. No, I just two. Just two. One mimic and one battle. I'll keep keep the rest of those guys. Money seems a little harder to come by. You're not, you're not racking up massive amounts. I want to go to the Discord net and I want to start to like load up, boot up more of these guys. If I install it, do I use it up? That would be a, a handy way for me to know. As long as I make a conscious effort to always install things when I find them, then I would know when I have duplicates of things and what I can get away with with selling more easily so just to quickly test that I I want to I want to take a look at like what I'm carrying what kind of items I have yeah it gets rid of it to, to load it into your computer so there now I know definitively that I have a tomato already uh, I also found out in this screen where you're naming them if I hit a specifically on the controller it jumps me to okay so I don't have to goofily navigate all that. So there, I got my all my alternate team all loaded, downloaded into the computer there, got that all set and ready to go. 
I just kind of want to poke around the town a bit. The fine woodland eating this little pen. I hereby claim this land as my own. Protest all you want, I will live here. The tomatoes are calling to me. Toma. Well, I'll be. Someone plans to build a house here now, do they? Sometimes my fellow man baffles me. Doesn't seem that strange. Someone just purchased a living accommodation. Ever battle yourself to the absolute limit and want nothing more than to teleport yourself back to a disc cafe? Well, Leapfrog does just that. It also teaches you how to read. <laughs> it's an item that takes you safely back to the last disc cafe you stopped at. Pick up some, uh, pretty much any, you can pick them up at any disc cafe. I'll tell you, nothing beats sprawling out in the grass for a nap under the open sky like this. This time tomorrow, I'll be busy with work and all that entails. And on my next day off, I've got to take the wife out to get her shopping done. Not to complain, though. I'm happy enough. I don't really long for the freedom I had when I was about your age. Oh, no. But boy, what I would do to stay just like this. Not a care in the world for only a bit longer. Dozing off. This way leads deeper into Pecan Forest. Proceed with caution. Dude, get this! He's all like, nah man, I don't remember any of that, bro! <laughs> Whatever, man, who even cares? Y'all are losing it over a bunch of voodoo mumbo jumbo. Incoming transceiver call! I didn't know he could call me. Hey, Agred, all those people are blocking the way, huh? Yeah, damn them. Why not rest up on the couch in the disc cafe and kill some time until they move out? They powered off the transceiver. Well, that was a simpler response to things than I was expecting. I guess? I just chill? Yes? Sounds like there's some sort of commotion going on outside. Well, we better follow up on that first then, shall we? Watch it, old man. We're walking here. You know what a disker like me could do to an old geezer like you? I'm thinking you ought to cough up some cash and apologize. Dude, wouldn't it be awesome to see a creature just crush a dude? Forget the money, man. Just end this old timer. That's intense. These bullies are insane. You know what? Yeah, I think I just might. Watch and behold a real disker in action. We gotta get in there. We gotta save him. We gotta be the hero. Dude, wouldn't it be awesome to crush the old timer? Nah. What are you staring at, Pipsqueak? Ho oh, oh. ho! Baby's got a disc kit, eh? Well, let me teach you a lesson, punk. You ain't no real disker. I... Oh, okay, he has more complicated enemies than I was expecting, actually. He's got a Mine Roar. I like that name. The Wee Goyle. It's a tiny little gargoyle. Like the name, like the design of that guy as well. I think I'm gonna probably wail on... Mmm. Yeah, I should use Splash on the Mine Roar, because I'll probably mess him up nice and good. I can Electro Ball, no, I'll bowl as someone. Want to be a little bit strategic here, and Artillery Seeds just kind of widely attack everyone. Damn it, he started right away with uh, a defend. That wind was stronger than I hoped. He got knocked down. I don't know precisely how knocking down is going to work. Weagoyle is now paralyzed, but knock, knock down I guess is a one turn thing. You don't actually have to cure. It like a status effect or anything, it just lasts that one turn. Simple enough. I'm gonna try to Electro Ball a battle. I don't really know what weaknesses it has or anything like that. Come on, man, that's too much damage. Can't wreck me like that. Oh, come on, Artillery Seeds. Yeah, come on, that's gotta be enough to take out the battle. Oh, we got them both down. Maybe I don't even need to rest at all. Mm, he's probably never gonna use an, an E-Charge then, so instead... 15% can't use consecutively. I guess I better use it now while while the option is there. Artillery Seeds is dope and there's only one thing to attack, so I should just like triple up to triple hit. It's one, two, three, so it doesn't necessarily Ah, uh, maybe that's totally dictated by Oh, I ran out of energy. That might be dictated by how many creatures there are. So it'll just hit, it'll hit everything there is once each. I haven't noticed if things get double attacked by that ever. Creature gained XP, Crenitin leveled up again, bunch of different stats and new move I'm sure. Level fives all around. Dude, are you kidding me? Fine, jeez, we're out of here. You so much as crossed my path again, loser, and you won't be so lucky. Beat it square. 
We don't want your kind around here no more. Oh, thank you, child. I'm not so old and frail that I can't hold my own against a few ruffians, but against creatures? Oh my. Let me to thank you. I was once a disker back in my prime, you know. Greg got a piece of equipment, the Vertigo Charm. This here is a great item I use to equip on my own creatures. Each one of your creatures can equip one item, you know. Open up the menu and head to equip. The Vertigo Charm helps protect the creature that's wearing it by making it resistant to confusion. Equip it on one of your little friends there, and I'm sure it'll come handy down the road. Take these too. Use them whenever your creature gets hurt. An Energin times five. Still though, saddens an old man like me. Disc kids like the one you got there were supposed to be the technology that brought peace and an end to all conflict. But will we truly ever rid our world of strife? Progress and conflict may indeed just go hand in hand, I dare say. Wow, getting really deep there, old man. Thanks for the stuff, by the way. <laughs> I'm just gonna go on doing my own thing. I'll check a vertigo on my blade, Gwyn, because he's my favorite. And then I'm gonna save on up. I guess I'll run back and, and like heal and save. But yeah, otherwise, that's disc creatures. As you can see, it is straight up Pokemon. <laughs> it's available October 17th. There's a link down below. You guys can go check this one out for yourself. And yeah, maybe you'll have to let me know uh, which creature assembly you choose to go with instead, like how you choose to build up your team, what you like and dislike about the game, how you think they've improved on Pokemon, or like, like what feels lacking, anything like that. Very curious to hear what people have to say, and you'll have to let me know if you want a series. I'll have to track the overall response to this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.